and gentlemen, we are halfway through the race, 75 laps to go. Emont really is the goal. Look at the contact. Oh, we got a problem in the back straightaway. This time it's Kenny Hines. No, we've, we've got a red flag out. The cars are stopped. I haven't seen him come out yep. yet. Okay, no more updates. That's all there is so far. I wonder how fast he was going. They're going pretty fast. Usually if they hit the wall, it's on a corner. We arrive at the track. The parking lot's a maze. And we're trying to figure out the best way to get to the patient. Out of my way. Hand along the gate here, we've got the gate open. You're gonna go around the pond as far as you can go and then into the pit. It is difficult to get to our patient. It's a huge facility, it's lots of cars. Yeah. Who was driving, crashed into the wall about 115 kilometers an hour. Okay. Was knocked out for about two to three minutes. Gain consciousness, is still pretty confused. He keeps asking the same questions over and over again. Where are we going? We're going to the university hospital. Who did job? Okay. So, okay. Kenny lost control on corner number two. As he was coming to corner three, he tried to correct and he got tapped and he completely spun around and hit the wall. So we were told our patient was driving 100 miles an hour. He was knocked out for about two to three minutes, regained consciousness, but still very confused. Is it okay? Can we just take this racing suit right off? Uh, we as well keep it if it's expensive. We don't want anybody cutting it. So. Yeah, and I want to check yeah. the back before. We... At first, Kenny doesn't really seem bothered by any injuries. All right, Kenny. Yes, I felt that already. Yes. And then just lay straight back, okay? Uh, make sure you load up that. Car. They'll take care of your car, Kenny. Uh, you okay there, Kenny? Kenny appears outwardly okay. You're gonna feel the bed go up okay? But because he hit the wall at such a great speed, we have a higher suspicion that there could be internal injuries. Where are we going? We're going to the university hospital. We're gonna have to watch them. Uh, those washboards. On are there airbags in these cars? There could be a lot of potential injuries. He could have bleeding in his brain. He could have a bruised heart or lungs. He could have bleeding in his spleen or his liver. What's the last thing you remember? Um, come on. That's sad. Honestly, I don't know. You remember starting the race? Oh, yeah, I remember starting the race. I remember racing 36 hard. 9. OK. And then do you remember crashing? Did I crash? OK, so that you don't remember, hey? All right, ready to roll? Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to the university hospital. The patient keeps repeating his questions over and over. Where are we going? What happened? Do you remember why we're going to the hospital? I don't know, unless it was pretty bad. You hit the wall, OK? Yeah. Yeah, you were out for a little bit. I don't remember. That's OK. You're, that's OK. It's pretty obvious that he has a concussion at this You're point. You're going to be OK, Kenny, OK? We have a collar around your neck for precaution, OK? A big accident like this can cause an adrenaline rush and an outpour of emotion. Try not to move your head, okay? I know. We're taking Kenny to the hospital. They're gonna give him a CAT scan, X-ray, ultrasound, and we hope that he's okay.